Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Get Wedding Ready with me, Wura Manola. I'm trying to keep a straight face, but guys, I'm in my wedding dress. I am in my wedding dress. Can you just... I'm in my wedding dress and as you can tell from the title and me being in my wedding dress, today's video is going to be your ultimate guide to wedding dress shopping. This video is going to be one of my best videos yet because I have so much tea for you guys. So this video, I'm going to be talking about every single thing you need to know about wedding dresses. Things that people don't tell you. Things that you figure out literally when you're at your wedding reception and you can't sit down or you can't move. I'm going to give you all the tea on wedding dresses before you go wedding dress shopping. When you go wedding dress shopping and after you go wedding dress shopping. And hopefully this video would help a bride to be someone who's looking to get married someday. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel please. We're trying to reach 10,000. Make sure you hit that bell button down below so you'll be notified when I have a new video it's so important because YouTube does notify you guys so please 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 hit that bell button and yeah let's get straight to this video I'm so excited guys oh my god like, I thought my wedding dress wouldn't fit me I'm really really pleased that obviously the dress yeah fit me the first thing I'm going to talk about is the things you need to know about wedding dresses The first thing I want to talk about is that wedding dresses are usually really, really tight. Like they're made to suck you in, they're made to fit like a glove. More often than not, wedding dresses are not meant to be super comfortable. I mean, you have different materials and also it depends on the style you're getting. A lot of them have corsets and things inside that just make you really tight. So that's something to bear in mind, you know, when you go wedding dress shopping, that they're not too loose. And to be honest, the tighter they are, the better. This means they just fit you like a glove. The next thing I want to tie into this is wedding dresses are usually a size up. So when you go wedding dress shopping and you say you're a size 10 but size 10s are not your size don't be alarmed because the way they're made the material and everything that goes into it makes them really really tight so you'd have to go a size up and that might not be the case it depends and it varies from designer to designer so yeah don't be alarmed the thing that you've you know added weight honey the next thing you need to know about wedding dress is it could take up to six months to make a dress or even more so you need to make sure you leave enough time before you go wedding dress shopping because a lot of these dresses are made to measure the next thing about wedding dresses is they can cost anything from $50 on eBay, <laughs> all the way to millions. The wedding dresses that cost millions of dollars of pounds, you know, so it just depends. The next thing is people usually wonder, where can I get a wedding dress? So the places where you can get a wedding dress, you can get wedding dresses online, which means you would see designers who have these dresses online, but more often than not, except you're getting wedding dresses from a wholesale seller or from China or, you know, one of these places, you might not be able to buy them, you know, online. Even if you go to a bridal boutique online store, you'd have to go in to be measured before you buy it because they want to make sure that it's your Wedding dresses are not like dresses you get in Zara, Mango and all these places. They're fit to wear. They're made to measure. They're made in a way where they're fit to like, They're fit to wear, they're fit to measure. Uh, what am I saying? Wedding dresses are made to fit you. So more often than not, you'd have to still go in to get measured. The other place you can get wedding dresses are with boutiques. They have the wedding dresses out. They have their new collection. And you usually pick what dresses you want and it gets made for you. And that's how I got my dress. My dress is a Rona Joyce dress. And it got made for me and my, you know, specifications. The other way is you can have a dress made for you, like designer made for your actual bridal designers that a bulk of their work is doing made for you dresses. And I think this is really nice because that way it, every dress dress is kind of unique and different whereas this wedding dress I'm wearing someone else might have bought it a lot of people might have it um, the other place you can get wedding dresses is you can get them secondhand you can hire them the places where you can hire wedding dress or you can get them from designer outlets so if you go to designer outlets or sell outlets for wedding dresses you buy them off the rack and you go somewhere else to get them like measured or whatever my second wedding dress I got that in an outlet cost me 300 pounds and I'm not wearing it today because I sold it but I kept this one because it's expensive another thing to bear in mind with wedding dresses is even after after you get your wedding dress you need to get alterations if you don't lose weight like if you don't lose all your add weight then your wedding dress is perfect and good to go but if you do lose or add weight you might need to take some in and take some out and that can cost at least 200 pounds so just bear that in mind that when you buy the wedding dress it just doesn't stop them all right the next thing to bear in mind is the extra items that don't come with your wedding dress so you need to get your wedding dress like sleeve for example if you're getting married in a ceremony a church you know and you need to cover up that's if the dress doesn't already come with sleeves you also need to get underskirts i remember what they're called but literally wedding dresses that you see that are really poofy usually they're not as poofy as that they have an underskirt garment and that makes the wedding dress a lot more poofy so you need to buy that and you need to buy the sleeves you 
you need to buy with your wedding shoes you need to buy your wedding accessories your wedding jewelry so all of this doesn't come with a dress and a good tip i have for you is when if you're buying your wedding dress from a boutique and they have all these accessories like i did you can definitely haggle and bargain with them and say okay since i'm buying my dress with you can you put everything together for this amount that's what i did so my dress let's just say it's cost five thousand pounds for example right and the other accessories cost five thousand eight hundred i was able to say okay can i get everything for five thousand three hundred so saving five hundred pounds and these are just figures but oh i forgot you also need your veil hello so you need your veil and your veil comes with an extra cost all right so the last thing you need to know before we go wedding dress shopping is people don't know this but most wedding dresses are not white wedding dresses are off-white or ivory but more often than not when you go wedding dress shopping you'll be surprised i didn't know that but a lot of the dresses are off-white and don't be alarmed if some of them start looking a bit cream and dirty but that, that's just the look and they look beautiful when you compare it side by side with the dress that is literally white it's not really really nice so like the dress i'm wearing is off-white it's not cream it's ivory oh and the last thing you need to know about wedding dresses is they come in different shapes and styles the most popular shapes of wedding dresses is your princess or your ball gown which is literally your cinderella big gown and then you have your mermaid dress and you have your trumpet dress the difference between the trumpet and mermaid dresses they're both like figure hugging but the point where they like poof out is what the difference is i think one comes out at your thigh and that's the trumpet and the mermaid is at your knee i think and then you have your a-line dress which is just like straight down which is i think a very elegant dress and then you have what else do you have mermaid trumpets a-line um you have short wedding dresses yeah there are other types but these are like the most popular type of wedding dresses and then wedding dresses come backless they come with stones mine have stones if you can see uh, mine has a lot of lace details all right so the next part of this video now that we know every single thing we need to know about wedding dresses the next thing is what you should be doing when you start going to wedding dress shopping So the first thing you want to do when you go wedding dress shopping is you need to know what kind of style you want your wedding dress to be in and the more you look at inspiration the more you look at pictures the more you look at brides that have similar figures to you the more you kind of know what you want for example i masculine knew i wanted a princess dress because i mean how many times do you get to wear a ball gown so i ended up getting two wedding dresses a princess and a mermaid you should just have one or two type of styles in mind that you go in for because when you go to boutique and bridal appointment again i'll come to this you usually have an hour window so if you go in trying all the different kinds of dresses Dresses, you wouldn't be able to pick and you get more of a warm and they're gonna ask you what kind of dress are you looking for before they always impose and say oh I think you should have this so you can say I'm looking for a princess dress or I'm looking for a mermaid dress and then you could try on those dresses and when you try on those dresses that's when you begin to understand oh actually I'm leaning towards the princess dress for example when you try on a couple of dresses you should know whether you want to buy a dress you know from a boutique and get it done for you or you should know if you want a dress made specifically for you so you work with the designer to make that dress so that's worth knowing as well the next thing is you should know your budget don't waste your time like I did when I was going wedding dress shopping I was looking at Pronovia's high range I was looking at Michael Thinko in Draw. all these people that are literally 10,000 pounds and over and it got me so frustrated I mean I was calling Barcelona trying all the Spanish I know like hola you know tengo una boda I was calling Barcelona and all these places worldwide to ask about these wedding dresses that I saw they were actually beautiful and they were too expensive and it made me so sad because I was like oh I wish I could afford this so don't waste your time like even though your budget is 5,000 pounds keep looking at dresses at five thousand pounds and under don't waste your time because if you know your budget and you're looking for dresses that are above your budget you can get attached to a dress that is above your budget and you go for that dress and that doesn't give you leeway to buy other things you need to buy be penny wise don't be pound foolish so and this was a tip for, i got from sonat sonate i think that's her name my girl she has a beautiful bridal boutique store so hit her up again everything is on my phone so the next tip or the next thing you should know when you're going wedding dress shopping is look out for sales and sample dresses this is something that i knew last minute a lot of these dresses are really expensive when you enter a bridal boutique that dress that you try on is a sample dress you reach a point where they're no longer selling that range of dress and they start selling these sample dresses so if you can wait and you know around what period it's usually around february month March, April and maybe at the end of the year that they usually do sample sales so if you can wait depending on when you're getting married you can grab a sample sale so look out for sample sales and look out for boutiques that are doing sales on their dresses like they slash their dresses to 50% all right so the next thing that you need to know when you start going wedding dress shopping is book your appointments as early as you can and make sure you book your appointments if you can't book your appointments during the week that would be really helpful because during the weekend here in the UK at least that I know you pay if you go during the weekend because obviously everyone's going to the weekend and they have a lot of people and it's usually 
20 pounds to about 50 pounds and I think that comes off your bill if you buy a dress. If you go during the week, you pay less for a lot of these boutiques. So I recommend you go in there. In different countries are different. I learned that in Nigeria, you pay regardless of when you go to try on dresses. So make sure you find out, ring up and find out before you go so you're prepared. Book as many as you can. People say around three to four. You don't go crazy and go to like 10 boutiques. I book around like five maximum. So who to go with? Um, the best thing is to go with people. This is a tip I got from a bridal stylist called the wardrobe manager. Our video is coming out, so check out for that. Go with people who know your style so that they can say, actually, mm, if you like something, they might say, oh girl, you know, mm -mm, you know, I love you and I know you like this dress, but that's not really you. You can go with your mom. As long as your mom is not that kind of opinionated person that wouldn't let you buy what you want. Go with your mom if she's the kind of person that has good taste and will let you get what you want to get. And choose like only two people, maximum three. Like don't go ever one because the more people you go for, the more opinions you have to deal with. All right, guys, so now that we've talked about what to do when you start going wedding dress shopping, the things you need to do when you're at the shop is what I'm gonna talk about now. The first thing you need to do when you're at the shop is explain to the consultant what you were after. Like, I told her that I wanted a princess dress. I wanted something dramatic. I wanted something with like, um, you know, a bit of bling bling and I wanted lace and I wanted like a cathedral veil. Like, I already knew what I wanted. So it was easy for her to say, all right, try this, try this, try this. If you go and say, I don't know what I want, that's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Although she's a specialist and she's a stylist, but she's gonna, she'll take more time probing you and looking at you and deciding. So you may spend almost half an hour deciding why she looks at you, what you want or even 20 minutes before she gives it to you rather than when you just say in five minutes what you want she gets it and let me tell you these appointments are usually an hour the dresses are not like literally like dresses from like you know mango or whatever Zara that you can try on and take eight dresses and try it on in like 30 minutes with these dresses look this is heavy so it takes a while to get into it and to get out of it so I would say you use your hour wisely get two of each style when you're at the shop so if you know you want a princess and a mermaid dress get like two or three of each style and try them on so you get a feel for what you want the next advice I'll give you is try on your dress with accessories like try it on with your sleeves if it doesn't come with sleeves try it on with a headpiece try it on with shoes so you know how you stand tall in it I mean you'd have to do that regardless because they need to measure the length um try it on with the belt if you're going to get a belt for your wedding dress try it on with the veil like try it on with the complete look and if you have a bridal stylist this is what they'll do for you regardless. But if you don't have one, yeah, try it on with all the accessories so you kind of know how you're gonna look on the day. Oh, the next tip I'm gonna give you at the store is a golden tip. When you try your wedding dress, make sure you walk in it, take long strides, walk in it, jump in it, dance in it, and like go low. Like, obviously you don't sweat in the dress, but like do all the things that you're gonna do on your wedding day. Because let me tell you, when you go wedding dress shopping and you try on a dress, that is literally what you do in the store. When you go out of that store, it's a different thing. It's just like heels. If you try on heels on a carpet in a freaking store, it's going to be bomb and you're like, oh my God, I can walk with this, it's so comfortable. When you hit that pavement and you're on your way to work and you're running to work, it's a different ball game, it's all over Jackie. So make sure you take strides, sit down. My second dress when I was in the store, I didn't really sit down or move. Like I was just like, oh, this dress is so pretty and it sucks me in. I couldn't sit down in my second dress. I had to slide down on my wedding day and then dancing, I had to like lift it up to work. I mean. It, it still worked and it was still fun and I've got the dress regardless but if it was impossible to move or do anything that would have been a shame so make sure you move around and you do everything you need to do make sure you take pictures when you're at the store of every single angle of the dresses that you want if they let you some stores don't let you take pictures which is a bit annoying to be honest but if they do make sure you take pictures ask all the questions you can ask while you're at the store so ask how long it's gonna take your alterations how long you, your alterations take when you need to come for them and how much they would cost you know ask them questions about how to Lose, when you lose weight or you know add weight and all of that dry cleaning the dress ask about your fittings as well um, yeah this is so comfortable guys I really don't want to take this off like I said to you guys make sure you negotiate when you're a bridal boutique honestly the, tr the prices are not really on the tag they're in the catalog you could always negotiate so make sure you take advantage of that either say the dress is 2,000 pounds say you want it for 1,500 pounds the last thing they can do is laugh at you and then you go up to 1,800 then you go and you close the deal so make sure you negotiate hard honey um, another tip is take a strapless bra because obviously you, you don't get that in the store so take a strapless bra and see how it would look with a strapless bra um, that is a tip I can give you as well especially if your dress is going to be like backless and everything see how you can maneuver in them again another tip I'll give you is when you try your wedding dress don't buy a dress that day don't buy a dress that day take your pictures and go home and have a real think before you decide on what dress you want to buy don't make the mistake I made I literally went to the second dress store that I went wedding dress shopping and I bought a dress and I wish I had gone to more boutiques but again that was my mistake and that's why I'm here to help you guys so the next thing I'm going to talk about is what you should do after you leave the shop 
so we're almost at the end guys the first thing is don't buy a dress the same day make sure you obviously go home have a thing or be a dress I promise you that would keep calling to you and that's the dress you should get and then think about which one you love you know which one fits you perfectly and think about everything which one is the perfect fit which one calls your name which one is in your budget honey like think about your budget as well which i know you want that beautiful dress honey i know you want to slay but think about your budget can your budget handle that slay you know um <laughs> another tip i have for you is to weigh the pros and cons if it's very hard choosing the dress you know what look at this one say okay this one makes me look this way that one makes me look that way this one is cheaper this one is more expensive this one you know accentuates my curves this one makes me look straight like do pros and cons and that way it'll be easy for you to narrow it down to a dress don't add too much weight and don't lose too much weight because obviously you don't want to end up getting a whole other dress like there's only so much weight you can add and lose depending on the material the dress has so just bear that in mind because if you lose or add too much weight they might need to do a whole new dress and there might not be time for that so make sure you bear that in mind Mind, guys it's a bit hard again I was struggling with that because they told me not to lose too much weight or add too much weight I was like well I'm not looking to add weight let's start with that honey um the next one is stop looking at more dresses this is something I did after I bought my dress I kept on looking at dress and I had to tell myself look you bought a dress don't look at other dresses and <laughs> You know what I ended up doing? After buying my dress, I ended up shopping for other dresses because I wasn't happy with my dress. I mean, it's cute and whatever, um, but I don't know. I think I'd have wanted something extra slay. I actually went to another city to try the wedding dress by myself. That's how bad it was, a sample dress. And that's how I knew about sample dresses. And I was going to buy that dress if not for budgets, which is actually good because I then ended up buying my 300 pound dress, which I liked. So yeah, that's why I ended up having two wedding dresses. Start putting your makeup looks together as well. So after you get your dress, start thinking of what makeup look. Um, you can always show your dress to your hairstylist and your makeup stylist when you go for your trials I say this is my dress you know what kind of look will make this dress look beautiful so yeah so those are my step-on-step -step guide on going wedding dress shopping I really hope this video has been really useful for you guys I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope after watching the video you're no longer stressed about wedding dress shopping I hope you already know what kind of dress you want to get where you want to get the dress and I hope I've given you all the tea on different types and things you need to know about wedding dresses so you end up being comfortable in your wedding dress yes, something I want to say as well is make sure you get a bridal stylist um, there's the wardrobe manager there's the lavish bridal I believe are both in Nigeria thank you guys for coming by my youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe 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 um, tell your friends tell anyone getting married about me and tell them about my videos so make sure you subscribe make sure you hit that button down below you know that bell looking thing so that it lets you know when I've uploaded a new video because I'm starting to be more consistent so I need <laughs> I need you to know when I upload a video okay um, okay and then what else yeah leave a comment below um, thank you guys for coming by my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.